Welcome to this TEXA training module one. In this video, we will guide you through the basic navigation of the TEXA IDC 6 diagnostic software while performing diagnostics in demo mode on a John Deere construction and earth moving L series loader, tier four, stage five. The goal of this training is to help you understand the IDC 6 platform, learn how to move through its main functions and build confidence in using it for real world diagnostics. TEXA hardware has an intuitive interface that is easy to navigate for all manufacturer diagnostics. The durable 13.3 PC tablet with rugged design ensures reliability in the toughest shop or field environments. The touch screen allows technicians to navigate quickly while being comfortable while using the adjustable handle on the back. The OE level functions allows technicians to perform advanced diagnostics, including calibrations, parameter resets, injector coding, forced regenerations, and actuator tests across multiple brands like John Deere, Caterpillar, Volvo CE, Kubota, and many more. The TXT MultiHub VCI module is the core communication bridge between your TEXA IDC6 software and the equipment's ECUs, electronic control units. It is equipped with a digital display that allows technicians to instantly view communication status and battery voltage while connected to the ECU. Inside the TXT MultiHub 2 houses all the communication protocols needed to connect to different equipment brands and systems. Think of it as an interpreter. Every manufacturer and ECU speaks a different electronic language. The TXT MultiHub automatically switches to the correct protocol so that the TEXA IDC6 software can seamlessly communicate with the control module. This ensures accurate fault detection, parameter reading, and command execution, no matter the machine or brand. In short, the TXT MultiHub 2 translates between the machine's ECUs and your diagnostic software, giving you OE-level access to perform advanced diagnostics across mixed fleets with a single tool. Starting diagnostics on Axone PC tablet. Power on the tablet. Hold down the power button on the Texa Axone PC tablet or power up your laptop. Wait until the indicator lights come on and the tablet boots up. Locate the IDC6 icon on the desktop and double click on it to launch the software. You are now on the main software page where all available software environments are listed. On the software environment screen, click on the off highway icon. This will take you directly to the next screen where you can begin navigating diagnostics. When this screen appears in the TEXA IDC 6 off highway software, you'll notice there are five icons to choose from. The one you are gonna click on is the diagnosis icon. This is the most important selection because it's where you'll gain full ECU access on all equipment you perform diagnostics on. Once you enter the diagnosis section, you'll be able to connect to the machine's ECUs, read and clear fault codes, view live parameters, perform activations, calibrations, and adjustments, view technical and interactive wiring diagrams, and much more. At the bottom of the screen, you'll also see other options, including favorites for saving your most used diagnostic functions, measurements to record and analyze data over time, utility programs, additional tools that support diagnostics and service work, Support for quick access to technical help and resources. We'll cover those sections in another training video. For now, since this is basic user function training, the goal is to help technicians gain quick and confident access to diagnostics, starting with the diagnosis icon. When you click on the diagnosis icon, you'll be brought to the category page where you select the application you wanna work on. The main categories include agricultural vehicles, construction vehicles and special equipment, forklifts, telehandlers, industrial engines. Under each of these categories, you'll find a complete list of the manufacturers and makes that the TEXA IDC6 off-highway software supports. This structure makes it very easy for a technician to quickly navigate to the exact equipment type and manufacturer, ensuring you get the OE level coverage needed for accurate diagnostics. On the left-hand column, you'll also see options for manual identification, eye support, special code, and the diagnostic coverage list. We'll cover those features in a separate training module. We are going to click on Construction Vehicles and Special Vehicles to continue. In the previous screen, we were in the category page and clicked on Construction Vehicles and Special Vehicles. This brings us to the Make screen, where we select the manufacturer of the equipment we're working on. 
If you want to bypass manual mode at this point, you can click on the orange icon, Auto Vin Detect, on the same line, and that will take you directly to the main diagnostic screen. Note, if it does not allow you in, proceed with manual mode, as this sometimes happens when the manufacturer uses a different ECU and forces to proceed with manual selections. In this example, we will click on John Deere CE. Once you click on John Deere CE on the previous page, you will be sent to the model screen. We will click on John Deere L-Series to proceed in manual mode. Note, you can also click on the orange icon above, Auto VIN Detect, to automatically detect the model. The orange icon is next to the next purple arrow. On the previous page, we clicked on Make, and that brings us to the engine screen. Here you will select the engine type. In this example, we will be selecting John Deere. Take note of the icon on the same line. This icon provides a picture and the location of the DLC connector, as well as details on which specific diagnostic adapter is required. This is especially important if the equipment is not equipped with a standard OBD2 or 9-pin Deutsch connector, ensuring that you always connect with the proper interface for accurate diagnostics. We are at the main diagnostic page, where you can access the different control modules or ECUs. From here, you can view live data, read and clear DTCs, access ECU information, perform component activations, and make settings or adjustments. On this screen, you'll also notice the TGS3 system scan button. This powerful feature scans all modules for DTCs and displays the results on a single page for easy review. In addition, there are quick access icons for adjustments and coding, as well as activation tests. These shortcuts provide fast entry into key functions, although all of these same features are also available by entering the individual system selections. For this John Deere example, the IDC6 software shows us module access to diesel injection engine, air conditioner, body computer, multifunction display, transmission. To continue, let's click on diesel injection and the start communication icon and follow the screen prompts to gain access to the system. The self-diagnosis screen is where you gain full access to the diagnostic functions of the Texa IDC6 software. From here, you can select the icon boxes above to view live data, check for faults, DTCs, use Texa AI DTC assistance, perform component activations, and adjust settings. At the bottom of the screen, you'll also notice additional icons, including a printer icon to print reports, a save icon to store diagnostic sessions, a technical data, wiring diagrams icon for reference material, and an eraser icon under the fault section, which allows you to clear stored DTCs from the ECU. This layout ensures uh, that all key diagnostic tools are only a click away, making the IDC6 interface both powerful and user-friendly. Thank you for watching Module 1 The Basics of Navigating the Texa IDC6 software. In the next training session, Module 2, we'll continue exploring the IDC6 platform, focusing on navigating the diagnostic screens for live data, DTC faults, AI-assisted DTC analysis, activations, settings functions. For more information, software updates, or product support, you can contact us using the details shown on the screen.